I don't think I've ever been as nervous for the regular season as I was when I returned from injury. I felt like a rookie again. Only this time around, I had even more to prove. The thought of never stepping on an NFL field again was all the motivation I needed not only to get back, but to be an even better leader than I had ever been. Today, from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and ten, Chambers, short throw underneath to Hurst. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Plenty of excitement in this stadium and all throughout the league as we kick off another NFL season. And there's no shortage of storylines to keep an eye on across the NFL. But, Charles, what has you most intrigued about this matchup we're about to see? Well, it's almost embarrassing to admit because it's essentially low-hanging fruit. But I'm as eager as everyone at home to see the return of one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He came back for one playoff game last year, but he admitted that might have been a premature return. Now with an entire offseason, training camp to prepare, he's ready to lead his team again. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, certainly they're hoping that he continues to pile up those completions. And, Charles, we heard him go on record and say during the offseason he kind of reevaluated his approach to the game. So with that being the case, what are you expecting to see from him this year? And one of the things you pointed out before we even got to this game was just how refreshingly honest he was about how the injury forced him to change the way he plays. I think that he knew that in order to be successful moving forward, he had to take film study a little more seriously, take care of his body a little bit better, and really get back to the basics of the game and focus on the mechanics. And I think that he's ready to roll now. 16 yards, a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down, Chambers. And he finds Howard complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. carry here for Joe Mixon and he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage it's second down we'll call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down second and 10 at the 41 yard line to throw on second down Chambers he finds his running back Mixon and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory Joe Mixon I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And he'll let one go deep for Howard. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Tedrick Thompson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces an incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. First down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. David Onyemata able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. So after the sack, here, second and 14. Operating from the gun, Chambers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 14. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And is caught at the 7-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the 7. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On first down, Chambers. A very quick pass to Ridley. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun. Chambers. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Chambers. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. On first and ten, Chambers. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave him excellent. And he will fight his way into the end zone for the Falcon touchdown. So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. Following the fumble recovery, Chambers. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Chambers. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Back to throw. Chambers. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Ridley, incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore there. Dan the Bailey back. now for the field goal try. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. 43-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. First and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Throwing on first down. Chambers. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 44-yard line. A big-time play there for the Falcons. 41 yards. First down. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging into our second half blowout material. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Looking to throw on second down. Chambers. Going on the right side by Jones. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 23. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, Atlanta. On first down, Chambers. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Jones once again the intended target. Third down here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. A 29-yard attempt. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready to take over the football. They'll run on first down. Nixon. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First down. First down, Nixon. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Joe second Mixon and right at a yard. Uchenna, the previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up second and one. Operating from the gun. Chambers. It's from caught right around the six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Hayden Hurst. Already his second touchdown here in this opening. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They begin with a run by Mixon. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Joe Mixon on the Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Again, it's Mixon. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Joe Mixon. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? We love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They'll run on first down. 
Nixon. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. He couldn't ask for a better start to the season than this one. And don't want to put too much stock in it, but a week one win really in the return for a quarterback that they weren't sure would ever get back to what he once was. And you and I both know there's going to be a lot of debate about whether or not he was looking better today than he has in the past. But what's not up for debate, they won the game. And in the process, I do think he made a lot of people question whether or not he'd be able to come back as a starter. Look just a little bit foolish. I was pleased with how I played and it felt like coach's confidence was returning also. I really believed we had a decent chance of turning the season around. It's funny that such a short and simple conversation can be such a turning point, but in retrospect, we probably had already reached the turning point by then. <laughs> 